take me up from down And place my feet on solid ground Love how I feel when you're around I know it's real without a shadow down Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Yeah. Ooh, you see, see it? it? It's getting yeah. foggy. Yes, we're in Hilton Head, South Carolina on vacation and we're staying at the Coral Sands Resort. We got here yesterday and so today's gonna be our first kind of day um, on vacation in South Carolina. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Kay's chilling right now. He's a little fussy. It's a Monday for him and typically he don't like Mondays. But right now I got him good. And the new hair, look at that. Shout out to my sister-in-law. It's finally not just down, so I think it looks cute. There everybody's at the pool, not the beach. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head out to the most important place that we need to go to. <laughs> target. <laughs> it's a super Target. Or his mother. He likes his mother. T -t -t yeah. It's playing Disney music. This one's from Tangled. It's playing it from the speaker. Look, oh, it's right here watching Tangled, bro. Bro, what kind of target is this? It's making me. It's making me want to watch Tangled. Oh, should we get K's at Animal? Yeah. This Target is huge, and I love it. Why can't our tar all Targets be like this? Why? They had a whole Disney section where it's, they're literally playing a music movie, and you hear it above. And, it's, oh, and this book section, y'all. Don't get me started. It already looks dope. Let's check it out. Don't mind me. Just going to show Deshaun the books I want to read next. See what's on. I've heard this one in Love Light Farms is really good. It's about with a social influencer and a grumpy farmer. I've been into country-ish mm, books. Cause you listen to Morgan Wallen. Yeah, but also from the last book I read, Part of Your World, the guy who's country, the do-over. And in the acknowledgements, it shows thanks to Haley Fam and her followers. And that's me, cause I'm a follower of Haley Fam. So these Shout are Haley just Fam. the next few that I would like to read and just let you know in the future, just in case you ever wonder. Do y'all ever go into Target just to go into Target and then you go to Target and walk out with something that's you weren't planning on? That you didn't go in for. Yes, that you didn't go in for. That's the story of our life. <laughs> we sure did. Guess what we walked out with? Right next door to Target, which first off, Target was beautiful, huge. I loved it. It was just so different from all the other Targets that I experienced. Like, Target is an experience. You have to see every state's target you just have to but we end up going to dicks right across or right next to target and we really went in there to look for tennis balls because i want to find some pink tennis balls right well first off they have many rackets of tennis rackets and beside it they have so many pickleball rackets for 250 plus dollars. Yes. Why? Who would have thought that the sport of pickleball would cost that I much know. money? But anyways, we end up finding some pickleball rackets that were about 30 bucks. So For we're two. Two. With two balls. So we start at the basic level, which is okay. And they had pink balls for pickleball. So we end up getting those instead of the tennis balls. We walked out with something completely different than what we planned for, but that's okay because now- That's the beauty of Target. Yes. And we're gonna have two sports under our belt and see which one we like better. All right, y'all, we're at our next stop. It's called Bubble We're getting Berry. Boba. I'm sorry, everybody else that's out the pool right now, but. Sorry, we, we looked it up. We had to try this bubble spot. It looks like it's good. When I looked online, the cups were cute. It's given like a, you know, that cute little local area. If it is a local shop around here, I'm assuming. But let's go get us some boba. Right, Cade? Don't you want boba? Yo, I don't know what to do. It's like bubble milk, which I had never heard of that. What the freak is bubble milk? I know milk tea. There's slushies, there's refreshers, there's smoothies, there's 
coffee series, yogurt series. Which I don't have brown sugar milk tea. That's why I'm doing. Gonna do the taro. But this is leads you to try new things. Cause this smoothie, come on, Aloha Blue Nana. That seems like the minions. Yeah. Blue Nana. So that sounds good. So right now, I think I'm gonna do the strawberry bubble milk. I'm gonna ask what's the difference between bubble milk and milk tea, cause I never heard of it. They also have strawberry matcha milk tea. So I'm stuck between the two. But matcha is a hit and miss. Matcha can either be really good or it can be mid. It just depends on who's making it. Um, but this refresher sounds nice. It's giving me Starbucks vibes. Slushies are always a hit. Smoothies are good. And it shows the Vietnamese coffee is as one of their best sellers. So which one? Do we try a new one every day of the week? Uh, no. Like, come on now. If you think we should, comment down below. Right, Deshaun? No. The no. budget's not that big. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we got our boba. Nothing my straw from I got the taro. Jacqueline got the strawberry. You know you really wanted this one. I did really want that one. Oh, I know. Strawberry for Jacqueline. Satisfying. Taro for me. The most satisfying thing. I'm afraid it's gonna spill in his head. Boom. Look at that clean. No, I get pink. Oh, that's tough. Switch. Ready? Lean in. Taste test. Three, two, one. The bubble's much but thick. Oh, you'll like this one. That is good. It tastes just like popcorn. For it not to be real milk or lactose tolerant or free. You can't really Lactose tell. and caffeine free. Yeah. This one's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this one. Now I'm trying the strawberry. And I the taro. Mmm, it's not bad. Now we've had, I think we've talked about this before, but we've had boba in multi, multiple oh. different places. Mm -hmm. And our top boba spot, or at least mine, of all time is milk tea? Teacup. Tea. You don't even know what it is. Teacup. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, we, I'd give it a 7.9 out of 10. Okay, I give it a 8. So that was one of the things that we got here literally the first day. She said, oh my gosh, there's a boba place. It's gotta be the best boba I've ever had. It's good, it's not the best. But we're about to head up to lunch and we're distinguishing between a couple of places. So looking on in South Carolina, at least in Hilton Head, there's a couple of places that are, you know, highly rated and frequently rated. One of those is Harold's Diner, just for like your typical diner American food. Or there was another seafood place, I can't remember it is, I'm about to look it up and find out. But that's where we're headed to go get lunch in South Carolina. Three hours later. We were gonna try Harold's Diner. They're cash only. Try it another time. We're gonna try Annie O's. They're closed till four. Try it another time. So now we're at Marley Shrimp and Burger Shack. We'll see A, if we can get in, and B, if it's good. If you take me, I'll go even to the unknown And I'll be right here And I'll meet you there You won't leave me alone Even in the unknown And I'll be right here And I'll meet you there We just got done Oh my gosh, my hair is is cute today I'm sorry We just got done with, what was it called? Marley's Marley's and Shrimp Shack Yes, Marley's Burger and Shrimp Shack. And let's just say I personally enjoyed our experience. Um, I got, well, you, you would have seen it above, but I got the combo meal for shrimp tacos. Deshaun got a smash burger. And yeah, it was it was good, good pricing, especially yesterday we went to Wayback Burgers. Um, I did not appreciate the wait. I get businesses are slow because they're busy, but godly, we were waiting there for like, I swear, like 45 minutes. And then on top of, my, top of that, my fries were soggy. Anyways, back on Marley's. Um, I say I would give the place an 8.5, just because I feel like it's convenient in a sense, because it's the to-go, the pricing was good, I give it for the pricing, and they weren't bad shrimp tacos. Anywho, we're off to, where are we going next? The Dunes. So, we are at the Stony Baynard Ruins in 
South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, ways. Uh, Jacqueline's scared because we, if this is a very, like, huge houses, like mansions around here, and then you have, like, these old slave ruins, and then as soon as we pulled up here, it started raining and thundering. You are looking at the outer walls on the eastern side of the Stony Baynard home. This grand building faced south, the direction to your left. It was 1885 square feet in area and one and one half stories tall. The basement at ground level was used for storage, but not as living space. So this is what it looked like complete. This is all the remains of the slave quarters. Before the Civil War, two families of slaves uh, lived in a 336 square foot wooden dwelling upon these footings. The domestic slaves looked after the home and served its owners during occasional visits. In 1850, the Baynard family claimed 129 slaves at Braddock's Point Plantation. Probably then fewer than 20 were house slaves. Holy crap. Wait, what? I think he had 129 slaves. You good. This is very, he's falling a lot. You ready to go? Yeah. Update, we are now oh, heading to Putt-Putt. About to get our golf on. So whoever, <laughs> we're gonna pick teams and whoever loses has to buy the other team or pitch in for the other team to get That's ice right. cream. So we're on a winner te winning team. Who's we? We, we're a team. Uh-uh, it ain't we. We are a team. I Let me think about my ice cream flavor now. What's the score, Darius? Jacqueline, 34. Cameron, 32. Me, 30. Jaden, 26. Deshaun, 24. So I'm winning. Where am I at? Wait, where am I You're at? You're losing. You're at 34. Jacqueline's at 34. Deshaun's at what? 24. Um, 24. I'm in last place. Can you pull up on me so much on my day? Can't live without you. I got way too much. Hey, stay. Ooh, I just can't. But you didn't win. Okay. It, it was for nothing. You can't win everything in life. What's up, y'all? So we are back from Pup Pot. As you can see, you already know who won and who lost, and blah, 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 blah. But now we're turning in for the night. Well, actually, That's we're about to go get, pizza. get pizza. And then we'll be turned in for the night. That has been our day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Like, yep. Say it. Like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys seen some places that you guys can try if you ever come and visit South Carolina Hilton Head. This is just day one of the fun that we're getting into. Do you want to say a prayer? Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this amazing day, Lord. Thank you for the protection over us, Lord, getting us here safely and throughout our day safely, Lord God. And thank you for this opportunity that we're able to spend time together and just experience this. Um, I ask that you... Um, I pray over any prayer requests that they're made, that people may have, Lord, and that your hand is placed on them, Lord, and throughout their situations. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.